right, so this is a colony that I put a virgin queen in a while back, and I'm going to check on it to see if uh, how she's doing. And see if they're making any honey. This was a former cell builder, so this colony was loaded with bees. Uh, and so I know they had tons of foragers for a while, so they should have some honey up in these boxes. Um, these were two empty honey boxes when I put them in here. So I see some ants up here. I'll tell you one solution for ants, and I can't believe it works, but green grass. I just put a little bit of green grass up here between my inner cover and satellite cover, or sorry, telescoping cover, and it works like a charm. I can't believe it, but it does. So, uh, let's see if we got any weight up here. Since I don't have a, a queen excluder too, I'm going to look in the middle of this box to see if I have any uh, nectar, or I'm sorry, brood too. It's got to watch that sometimes. So there's a potential for brood to be in there. Okay, so this box is what I would say pretty light. Probably only has maybe 10% nectar in there. Not much weight in there at all. So I'm gonna pull a couple frames from the middle here and look for brood. Just in case. I see nectar. Yeah, and there's some nectar in there. I don't know if you can see it. But the bees are working it. So I'm looking in the next two frames. I don't see any brood in there at all. So I think we're free of any brood up in here. Eh, I'm going to guess this one's probably about 50%. Nectar maybe, maybe 40 and I'm just guessing by the way. Actually, I'd say less than that. Probably closer to 25. Now this box is probably loaded with uh, the third box up. It's probably loaded with uh, honey because this was a cell builder. And... Uh, and you notice, too, the bees are probably getting pretty old in here. I'm sure we haven't had time for a full round of brood since we requeened it. So all the bees in here are going to be older. So they're going to be more forager bees. So they should be, should be a lot of nectar or honey in here. And then at the same time, they're probably going to be a little bit more feisty. So if you, as we crack into this box, you're likely going to see them being a little bit more um, flighty. Uh, maybe a little stingy. I typically wouldn't even open up a colony like this without uh, some protection. But uh, I'm a little bit of a wimp anyway when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, so look, we got cat brood in the middle frame here. That third box, I'm sorry, not the third box, but that frame right next to it here is all honey capped. And this one is about 70% cap. There's just a little ring at the bottom. So I don't think there's going to be any brood up here. And uh, this colony is actually almost prepared for winter, to be honest. And so I'll raise this colony in three deeps. And I'll hope that they maybe make some honey for me. Yeah, that's heavy. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not the kind of box you want to mess with right there. But uh, yeah, that was all honey right there. So I don't know, eight, eight frame deeps. Probably 60 to 70 pounds maybe there. That was really heavy. I'm a big dude too, and that was really too much. 
to be lifting. And you see the bees are a little unnice. <laughs> So that top box was likely all honey, even probably on the outside. So here we have uh, capped honey out here. All right. And hopefully we'll get into a, a brood nest here. All right. Oh, I see some brood already. Not on this one yet, but. Yeah, there's a little bit of brood on this, just a little bit on this side, and some pollen over here. Okay, so a nice pollen frame. I better check my camera to make sure you guys can even see here where I'm looking. And you really can't. Why don't we do this? Hang tight. There we go. All right, sorry about that. So there's just a little bit of brood here, but on this next frame going in, I actually see capped, cap brood. So that's a really good sign. This was a, like I said, a virgin, but I don't remember how long ago I put the virgin in here. It's been at probably at least three or four weeks. So there's some capped brood and also some cells that aren't capped. Uh, that looks like it's going to be capped shortly. Uh, pretty spotty though, as you can see. Uh, not really excited about that part. Yep, so here's another frame of brood. I'm really excited about that, but that's really spotty brood, you know? Really spotty. And um, now one thing that could cause that, you gotta be careful, <laughs> okay? You gotta be careful with this. One thing that can cause that is a brood nest that has a lot of nectar in it. So as they clean it out, she'll lay in it. But it's possible that there was brood uh, in there, I'm sorry, nectar in there, and that caused that, or a lot of pollen, okay? But I'm very skeptical of this queen, and I'm gonna give her some more time. You know, there's still a lot of bees in there, so that's a good thing, um, but I am not in love with the spottiness. Now, if I saw one or two frames of really, uh, really good brood, then I'd uh, be more inclined to let this one go. But again, here is another very spotty brood frame here. A lot of brood, but very spotty. See that? And I just would hate to go into winter with a queen like that, so. And I keep backup queens, uh, mating nukes going for to sell and also for my own good. So I would have no problem replacing her. See, another spotty one. She's done a lot of laying, right? A lot of laying. And since this was a mating nuke, I can tell you that a lot of the frames were probably loaded with nectar. Oh, look at that aggression, aggression from those bees right there. A little bit of interference in that colony, and they were angry about that. Okay, so... <laughs> so, you know, one of the things I'm talking about here, this is a... 
this is another spotty one and there's my queen right there She's right here so I'm gonna probably go ahead and catch her and mark her but on the other side of this frame when I look at this I see um, a lot of nectar in the cells so you know it's a little worris worrisome to me but I'm gonna go ahead and mark her and I'm gonna let her stick around for a little bit I'm still only in July so I can live with it for now um, but I'm gonna come back you know by mid-August I'll replace her if she's still And I'm not going to go any further up. I saw everything I needed to see in here. I know that she's laying. She's laying a lot, which is good. Uh, but she's also getting a lot of her... Um, a lot of her uh, eggs are being either consumed or, you know, like I said, spottiness. Could be because of uh, just the fact that she was not well mated. Or mated with some of her brothers or somebody too close to her. And that causes... Um, that causes them, when they lay an egg, for that egg to be infertile. And the bees recognize that. And they actually remove the larva. They, if I understand correctly, they actually consume it. I'm going to go ahead and mark this queen, put her back in the colony, and button it back up before they murder me. goes all right we're gonna button her back up and just get some of these bees off the I'll tell you when you lift those really heavy boxes it's almost impossible not to kill bees nobody wants to but boy it's just so hard to get them up there and uh, hold them steady without really hurting yourself Maybe if I was more manly. But I'm not. I'm just a wimp. So, anyway, that's the story. All right, well, we're going to follow this. Uh, tell you what, what we'll do is we'll follow up on this queen in, uh, in a month. Okay? Clearly, she's got a spotty brood issue. So, we'll follow up on this queen when I have other queens ready. So... And I'll make sure I save a queen for her and uh, in August if there's still spotty brood in here uh, I'm gonna let that round of eggs emerge let those that brood emerge and then let her relay it up and then you know if we still see spotty brood I'm not gonna let her go into winter like that she'll have to unfortunately she'll have to uh, take the hive tool test and uh, She'll definitely not make it. So, anyway, anyway, so that's the story. Um, yeah, the looks like I got some bees trapped in the queen catcher thing, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure how they got up in there and trapped, but uh, anyway, that's it. Take care, peace out.